Starting off with some time lapse action. This is from Cooper Island with the British Virgin Islands. You can see more of that gray sky across the region here. Having to deal with a good amount of uh, dust in our atmosphere, kind of leading to those hazy skies out there. Nonetheless, good deal of sunshine, and we are expecting more in the way of it as we continue over these next few days as high pressure has rained across the region. Look at over in Puerto Rico back on Sunday afternoon. A tornado tore through Agua, the, uh, the coastal town there, where we did actually see several damages uh, being reported there some roofs off structures, some damages to vehicles as well as a whole slew of other things. Only 24 tornadoes have been reported in Puerto Rico since 1950. That's when those records did begin. Satellite across the Caribbean. We are seeing some active weather here through Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba. Uh, all of this stormy activity will continue to push further and further westward, so leaving us here in the clear. But more storms and showers, Barbados down through Trinidad and Tobago to continue to swing through the southern Lesser Antilles uh, over towards uh, portions of Venezuela as we continue over these next few days. Let's get to our future cast as we move forward now, taking a wider, broader look here at the Caribbean. Cuba seeing showers and storms, Yucatan Peninsula down through Central America. Common for this time of year, actually not that overly impressed by that. Uh, Hispaniola, USVI, Guadalupe, all looking at mainly clear skies. Low pressure system off two hour north that will, is tropical storm Don and really won't be doing anything for us as it continues uh, to just kind of churn over the open waters of the Atlantic. More of a fish storm as we like to call it uh, here. Cuba, Hispaniola, USVI all looking gorgeous here for even the end of the week. So a prolonged dry stretch can be expected after we do shed a uh, few of those rain showers here left over for our Tuesday. 8 p.m. on our Wednesday looking pretty good. Maybe a few more clouds for the overnight winds on the upside too. You can see more of that yellow shading rather than the lighter blue. Could be decreasing a little bit as we head into our Wednesday night and Thursday. You can see more of that blue uh, filtering in, so lighter winds can be expected here for the end of the work week. Of course, good news for those wave heights too. You can see they're relatively elevated here th Friday or Wednesday at 3 p.m. Still seeing a lot of that lighter shade of blue. Then more of the deeper shades to start to arrive as we head towards Thursday, so less chop on the water. More calm seas uh, can be expected there as we head into our Friday. It's certainly as we start off our weekend too. Our Wednesday forecast looking at mostly sunny skies. Region wide, a bit windy there in St. Croix up towards 90 in St. Thomas, St. John. Similar temperatures in the BVI with a mostly sunny sky. Really not expecting too much in terms of precip chances here for these next several days. You can see that with our five day forecast. 20% chance of something passing through for our Wednesday. High temperatures around 90 Thursday and Friday. As we head into the weekend, that's where we see more sunshine enter the forecast, but temperatures a little bit on the cooler side, up towards 88 degrees for both Saturday and Sunday. So overall looking at a dry and quiet stretch of weather here, not looking at scorching temperatures either, Tracy. So we are staying quiet and hopefully it's staying that way for these next few weeks. That sounds like a beautiful seven day forecast. Got to get out and enjoy it while you can. All right. Thanks, Adrian.